How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. Another little side-by-side, -side, courtesy of my boy Carson. And that is Rev Brewing. It is their Down the Rabbit Hole series. This is Some Bunny is One. This is the double chocolate version. This is the same beer, but double vanilla. Uh, it's going to be a really fun side by side. You rarely see the double chocolate, double vanilla kind of adjunct variants of Imperial Stouts, and I'm kind of pumped to dive into them. Um, I don't know if these are the same base beers of the beers that I did the barrel aged versions. I'll probably throw all of these up at the same time. Um, the, these two and the other side by side I did, but I'm kind of excited to dive into it. I mean, label and uh and bottle shape you already know my love of these if you watched my other review but i love these fatty grenades and uh that's pretty much it i don't know if they actually put an abv on here i don't see it 16.9 ounces i don't think i remember getting an abv on the other one but we'll see what's what let's try to do the old double pour here and see where we end up so we're gonna go chocolate over here my right your left and we'll go vanilla over here and we'll see what's what I didn't want to talk there. It sounded too pretty when I was pouring it for me to actually spit my annoying words out of my mouth hole. Um, relatively even poor. I kind of butchered it a little bit, but I mean, man, look at those heads. Good God. This is like just dark. Dark as dark could be rich, kind of creamy, kind of almost like cool whippy. Over here, it's dissipating really quick. I don't know if that's a vanilla thing or a chocolate thing. 90% sure both the glasses uh, are washed. I wash them same exact time, rinse them same exact way. So we'll see what's what. That could be a little soapy residue thing going on. But this one's dissipating very quick. But all in all, they just like look like two huge, gigantic imperial stouts. So yeah, give them a little whirl here. Dive into this chocolate first, see what's what. It smells like black strap molasses had a baby with mild, medium chocolate and there is coffee vibes going in there so soft coffee vibes rich chocolate not milk but kind of half and half and there's this burnt kind of thing that reminds me of black strap molasses very cool i dig that no it has to be look at that look at how that head is just dying on there it's got to be the vanilla kind of cooking in there so we'll see what's what diving into this vanilla i mean it's very close I would say this one's a bit more muted. I started with the chocolate one because for me, more times than not, chocolate is a much more milder um, kind of uh, flavor in general, let alone adjunct. Uh, vanilla is quite strong. Um, not really getting that big of a difference over here. I mean, there is a subtle difference, a little bit more of a mallow kind of marshmallow kind of thing going on. Not necessarily pure vanilla, more like a, a vanilla you would get from like a barrel than in like a, just a straight vanilla edition. But it smells good, man. Yeah, this one's more roasty. There's a little bit of like, a, almost like a turmeric kind of dryness, kind of like over the top kind of barrel um, dryness, like tannic kind of oak tannin, where this one comes off a bit sweeter. If you go back and forth, it's a little bit more present. I kind of like that. Yeah, let's dive into the chocolate. I think this one's a little bit more expressive in the nose, but I have a, I have a, a slight suspicion it might be reversed in the taste. Cheers. A bit hot. A little bit of heat there. Nothing too crazy. But that dryness. Man. If I drank this wine, I would hope I would go to the direction of saying, this hit a barrel. Not a spirit barrel, but just a dry, fresh, new oak barrel because there's so much kind of that tannic like i keep saying turmeric hopefully that's the right thing if i'm not f fucking up the description it's an over the top woodiness in here that's coming off what's that coming from it could be a, like a cocoa powder thing or the way the cocoa was processed but i'm almost like blown away the, that this hit no wood whatsoever it comes off that dry that kind of oak tannin like I like it. I think it's fun. I think it's one of the better kind of subtly adjunct kind of Imperial Stouts I've had in quite some time. Let's dive in this vanilla suit she's got. Cheers. Yeah. See, there's a huge stark contrast between the two because this just doesn't have that 
kind of sweetness that this one has, and this one doesn't have that dryness. If you knock out that cocoa, does this get to that sweetness level? This one over here get to that sweetness level? Maybe. So I'm assuming that cocoa edition that, or I should keep saying cocoa. I say, should say chocolate. It says double chocolate. It doesn't actually let you know what's what as far as the ingredients go. I don't believe. No, it doesn't. So I assume it's like a cocoa powder thing because that's what my brain is thinking. It's getting that dryness. It's triggering me to think of cocoa powder because it comes off as that like, you ever actually take like a spoonful of cocoa powder and it's like, like that dryness. I'm getting that over here. Well, over here, it's not like it's overly sweet. Sure, it's a big imperial stout. You are getting a sweeter beer. There's still roasted components over here. It's still more beer than adjunct and more beer than sweetness. But compared to this one over there, once you go back and forth, that stark difference between the dryness over here, that turmeric kind of dry woody thing over here compared to over here is very 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 striking it's kind of like that thing where if you eat something really sweet and you drink your uh, you know like um like if you have a coffee and you have it the way you normally have it but you eat a donut and then drink your coffee and like did they put sugar in it it's that kind of thing going on here but in the opposite way to where it's kind of dumbing down the sweetness from having something that's so dry as opposed to sweet on sweet on sweet I wanted to go over here for a little bit and come back over here and see how it treats me. Yeah, and that's the thing. Going back over here, spending a little time over here, and jumping over here, it's not that big of a sweetness deal. It's that dryness. It's that oak vibe that's really kind of, kind of standing out to me. Really cool. Like, this is probably one more fun kind of, I don't want, sure, side-by-sides, I can just say that, but one of the more fun, very subtly different, but at the same time, pretty readily apparent different kind of adjunct stouts, because more times than not, it's like peanut butter and raspberries or something like that. To me, and I have a big problem with this sometimes in beer, in not even beer, just in flavoring in general, cocoa. Like chocolate milk cocoa powder, I can confuse a lot of times with vanilla. It's just the way my body processes those things. So to actually go into a double chocolate versus double vanilla is kind of piquing my interest going, okay, am I really going to be able to detect something different here? And while I don't think there's a stark difference between those flavors, that subtle vanilla and that cocoa, I think that dryness is the one of the cooler kind of separation marks between two beers stout or otherwise that are, are, are basically base beers that are the similar beer but different that have happened quite some time very fun all in all let's strip that down to the brass tax of everything some of the better kind of adjunct laden stouts that i've had in general i mean they're really well done i like the way they play i like it over here they skew a little bit sweet sure it's an imperial stout with cocoa and vanilla it's going to skew a little bit sweet some have no problems with that but I like the way they play more more so than that, or in addition to that, I like the way they play together. To me, this is like optimal side by side. This is something that's, I'm super happy I did a side by side for these. I almost was gonna separate these and do them individually, but it said no, do the side by side. And I'm super glad I did because I think I would enjoy them both, but I wouldn't think I would enjoy them as much as I do together. To have that kind of stark difference between the two while being infinitely similar, this ends up being two really fun beers. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. You know what's coming. Let's see how this sucker plays. Okay. Vanilla and chocolate. Cheers. That's good. Yeah, um, it marries them both in a way that almost acts like a cancellation of each other. I still get a little bit of that dryness, but not nearly as big as I got over here. But it seems like the sweetness is built. So it seems like the sweetness of the chocolate is kind of amplified with that sweetness of the vanilla. Got a bit bigger on both ends. So that cool kind of sweetness with roastiness over here was balanced well enough. But that dryness, that sweetness, it kind of 
just trumps itself. It kind of gets just a little bit eke out of balance to where the that dryness and that bittering, that roasted malt kind of um, just gets trumped by that chocolatey vanilla sweetness to where it becomes a little bit more lopsided. It makes for me a way less balanced, way more, way less enjoyable kind of combination. It's still not bad. It's not a bad beer by any stretch of the imagination, but I like them separate. And it just goes to show you how different or how cool or how important blending and just marrying two beers together can be because these are the same beers through and through just with subtle differences in separate they're markedly different beers but together i don't think they have the same kind of play off of each other not even off of each other but off of themselves um with the way the chocolate plays with the stout here and the way the vanilla plays with itself there over there plays with itself you hear what i just said um yeah it just works and it works in a very fun tasty way keep them separate separate but there you go sometimes you got to do that i think they're fun but do a little cuvee because that's how you know shit works so there you go let's talk about it These are some of the better imperial stouts adjunct imperial stouts that i've had as late yes it's a mount rushmore status i don't know about that but at the same time it's some of the more funner ones it knows bottles shapes and you know those kind of weird Spiral designs kind of turn me on, so what do you want? Value availability, no idea. Maybe Carson or somebody down there, FL, can let me know what's what and leave you with. If you like what, we like these beers. If you like adjunct laden pastry stouts. I wouldn't necessarily call these pastry stouts pastry adjacent. So if you like your bit of chocolate and vanilla all up in your Imperial stouts, these are not going to disappoint. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive. If you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little bit of side-by-side -side goodness. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.